So we are here to get people's reviews of Ojanoma. I think my favorite part about it was just the blending of culture. I think it's a really good movie. It's an interesting movie. It, um, it started off like a, what, what you would think is predictable, but towards the end it started to take a twist, which I found really interesting. So I, I like the movie because of that. Yeah, it's a familiar story, but it was very interesting. They took it to the next level, obviously, incorporating some of the fairy tales the Cinderella's, the Sleeping Beauty, which I haven't really done. Yeah. With me, I've obviously gone into the Kalulus and, you know, those Tushimi Tuato. Yeah. But they really pushed it to the next level. Well, the movie was really brilliant. You can see that they're trying to reach out to even more markets out there, basically more stakeholders. So I would, I would watch it 10 more times. I keep saying that. I could have your head removed from your neck. I enjoyed the movie. Um, I think everyone put in a lot of work. Uh, you can tell by the outcome and um, you can see the enjoyment as well at the end of it. Yeah. I would recommend it to anybody to watch and I think that's what's great about it. It's that it's not a Zambian movie and it's not uh, an African movie to say that it's it's confined to just the continent. It's a global movie and I feel that every African should see it. Yes, it is. I'm recommending it to Zambians, but they have to watch it with an open mind. I'm recommending it to the Pan-African market because they've incorporated all, you know, Nigeria, Zambia. So if you go in with a small mind and you're thinking, oh, I don't relate to this, it's not Zambian. It's an African story. So I would recommend it to the diaspora as well. I would, I would recommend watch an, an African film. It's an aspirational film after all. Which character was your favorite? Ojanoma's uh, best friend, the girl. <laughs> she was my favorite character because she added bubbles to the movie, really. Um, outside of her, it would have to be, it would have to be Kezen, the, the bad guy. Yeah. Is it a movie that you would recommend someone to watch? Yes, it is a movie I would recommend someone to watch, especially because there's a, there's a twist at the end. I didn't think what happened at the end is what was going to happen, <laughs> so I, I would recommend someone to watch it. Yeah. I would go for the villain's assistant. <laughs> <laughs> for, me, <laughs> for me, the character was, yeah. Who is the guy, by the way? I don't think I met him. My favorite was the villain, actually. The villains. <laughs> I, I mean, I have an inspiration to really be a villain because in real time I'm not but everybody has enjoys that power so I was really impressed with um, the main villain trying to get the throne yeah and just the efforts that he made the short guy with the what did you think about your role the first time you got your script intimidating it's the first time you had a huge role like this so I was like wondering if I could put it off as well as the other professionals because it's, I had just come from Namibia, I had only done like short films and educational films and then I'm googling everyone, right? And there's Mama G and then there's Tinuke and there's people on Netflix and what and Doug's done all sorts of big things and like, I'm just this small guy. I've never done anything big and so I just wanted to live up to the hype, to everyone's expectation and like, you know, keep the standard. Oh my god, it was very nice, especially working for uh, working with an international movie for the first time. It was a very wonderful experience. An experience that I wouldn't want to forget in my life. I really related to Ojanoma in so many different ways in the movie. So honestly, showing up on set every single day was like just like going to the bathroom. Like I didn't have to think about it. Like I enjoyed it. If someone were to ask you what Ojanoma is all about, mm -hmm. how would you describe it in one sentence? I, I, would, I would just say it's, it's a fantasy uh, love story, black girl magic. Once upon a time, long ago, in the 54 United Kingdoms of Tamare, lived King Ofasa and his beautiful wife, Queen Akinti of the Naturu Kingdom. I cannot bear the excruciating pain again. It is too much. What is meant to be for you will always find its way to you, no matter what. <laughs> Legend has it 
that this necklace and the mirror inside it is said to possess magical powers of protection and love. Do not compare yourself to others. Anne Naire has blessed us all with different qualities. Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Upon the head, a crown of wool, true love will flow. That man thing is so scary. They will pay for what they did to my father. Master. Should the son bear the transgression of his parent? Your father and I fought long and hard defending this kingdom. Oh, go! Scatter! Knock down this partner! Lock it down! I could have your head removed from your neck. <laughs> <laughs>